how you get into a trade can't be guesswork. You need a trigger for high probability entries, and I'm going to give you some ideas. Well, why a trigger? The emotions can play havoc with your trading account, and when you see these kinds of moves, like you see here, some part of the majority of us want to jump in the market suckered in by those big candles. You know, the fear of missing a move can be a big motivating factor to have you just dump common sense, good trade practices, and just have you push the buttons to get in the move. Look, a trigger is simply a signal that shows that price is turning or has turned in the direction that you intend to trade. Now, I'm going to touch on using market structure and an indicator method of getting on board the trades. Look, I trade retracements in a trend, and therefore I need a means to get into a trade, and the majority of time, I use a lower time frame for my entry because, you know, Price may exhibit a pattern that I can trade to get into the bigger move. And if triggered, my stop has the potential to give me less risk. And therefore, I could trade a bigger position size depending on how I calculate my position sizing. This chart below shows a setup that I started to watch in late August. And the beginning of September, price dropped right into the zone that I had. My 30-minute chart shows a lower swing high. If taken out, there's a higher high, which indicates that down move may be over. Placing a buy stop at this level gives a 40 pip protective stop position. Now the red arrow shows a higher swing and I would have skipped the trade if that was the one that I needed to break. Here's the same chart with a 14 period CCI. Once the CCI crosses the zero line, that's a trigger to place a buy stop two pips above the high of the candle that coincides with the CCI cross. Here the trade does not trigger and the buy stop is trailed to the next high, which is signified by the upper arrow. This gives a 52 protective stop area. Now, we also have structure, high violation, uh, price structure indicator trigger. Trend lines. You could place a buy stop order a few pips above this trend line. In this case, the stop is about 30 pips. Now, each of these triggers do have their good and bad aspects. If the CCI did not have a lower high after the cross, the stop would have been 75 pips. Trend lines, quite often after the break, there's a retest of the line. At times, price can pull back almost 100% for which many traders who just had exited. Market structure in the form of highs and lows may be too far away. Having to gear down to a much lower time frame and forcing a tighter stop can really have you poked out of trades before they really get going. This is especially true in the Forex market. Moving averages are good as long as you use short enough averages so that you're not too late to the party. Triggers are an objective entry method and it takes the emotions out of the equation and it further cements an objective trading style where your rules do what they're designed to do.